Welcome to a new home, guys. Is that really how I look? Aww, you're so cute. Huh? Who are you? My name's Bonnie. Now that is quite enough. <laughs> Don't you even think it, Vixen. Besides, I believe she's smart enough to know what'll happen if she does. Bonnie? What? Oh, Bonnie. Thank goodness. I'm glad you're awake, bud. You okay? Well, it's not like I feel pain or anything. But still. Wait, where's Foxy? Please tell me that he's okay. He's fine, but... Foxy is... well... Huh? He hasn't moved. All he's been doing is listening to that locket of his. I'm getting worried. Foxy, what's the matter? Are you okay? Do any of ye. Remember back when he was alive. Uh, uh, alive? Foxy, you already know that we don't. All we know is that we were killed. Hey, I know it's hard being the only one to bear real memories. That is a gift from your mother, right? Aye. Well, at least you have something to remember her by. To be honest, Foxy, hearing that tune... It helps me feel like I'm closer to my past. Your locket is truly special. I guess you'd be right, Freddy. At least I still have some good memories. I think I had an older brother or two. Hey, Fazbear, the boss wishes to speak with you. Uh, wait. You! Bonnie, don't. But she... He, Bonnie, he. I know what happened. But we are all in an agreement. So as long as we don't fight, they won't. No one gets hurt. You expect me to just stand by and let you go with psychos? Please pay him no mind. He really didn't know about the deal. I honestly don't care for his stupidity anymore. Just follow me. May I at least ask where you're going? No, you may not. Just go through here. Bah. I brought you the one you wanted. Good. Now get back to your patrol, Spawn. So, you must be Freddy Fazbear. It's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance here, old sport. So, what is this about? Take a walk with me and I'll explain. I'm so glad that we can finally talk. After all this time. What do you mean? Don't think anything of it, old sport. Mirror water under the bridge. Follow me, if you would kindly. Excuse me, Freddy, but- Call me Frederick, please. I don't want any confusion between you and I. Ah, Frederick. Can you explain why we were all attacked back there? I guarantee that we did nothing wrong. I must apologize. I didn't intend for that to happen. We've been more uptight recently. And you? Chica told me that you were the one that ripped Bonnie's arm off. Ah, yes. I am truly sorry for that old sport. We have a more punishment-oriented system. I had to follow the established rules. By tearing off his arm? Yes, I know that sounds bad, but please see it more as compassion. Compassion? You expect me to believe that was compassionate? What I did was practically nothing compared to what Vixen was capable of. I'm sure you're aware of how she is like. She's very serious about her job, and considering Bonnie's actions, well, I honestly feared the worst, old sport. I see. It's just that he was out for so long. I understand. We weren't always like this old sport. So many incidents happened so quickly that everything changed. Incidents? What kind of incidents? Let's keep walking, and I'll tell you everything. On the very first day, we noticed a suspicious employee. We attempted to confront him during his shift, but he eluded us. Eventually, we asked for your help but none of you were online or even mobile. A week passed and he did the unthinkable. 
He tampered with our circuits and our face scanners. We couldn't identify adults. We didn't even realize why until it was already too late. He did that so he could murder some of the children. We tried even harder to catch him. Even you four started to move. None of you spoke. It took us a week to realize the killer moved to day hours. In our own frustration, we started to lose our control. And because of that, that poor Night Watch was attacked. We are now waiting to be closed down. No way. Absolutely not. Come on, Foxy. This is the worst time to be stubborn. Guys? I'm not stubborn, Rabbit. Just saying. Foxy, they're all crazy. Just look at what they did to you and me. I... I know. And what do you think they'll do when we cross them? And what about Freddy, huh? If you were the one out there, he would do anything to get you back. He does have a point, Foxy. If you really cared for him, you would at least try to rescue him. You know what? Fine. But, for the record, watch your mouth. You should never, ever shame a good friend. Okay, we need to plan this out quickly. I guess I'm ready when you are. Hmm. Foxy, you got a good look at that map, right? I... Okay then, it's time to get the main details. I'm sorry, I don't really remember doing that. That's fine, I don't think you all had the proper AI until your repairs. As for us, well, it seems the company decided that we're too glitched to be fixed. Therefore, we're going to be either sold or trashed. Oh, I'm... Sorry to hear that. Don't be old sport, it's just business. I don't think anyone would want to see us now anyways. Well, I guess that explains waking up boxed in a pizzeria's parking lot. Oh my, how careless of them. No worries, we will help you all get repackaged sooner or later. Wait, what? About Foxy and Bonnie, they're damaged? Oh, your repairs are just temporary. You'll be completely redone once you get relocated to the new establishment. Oh, and I take it that Bonnie's arm was one of the... Temporary repairs? Yes. I made sure not to break anything important, old sport. It was quicker and easier anyways. Thank you for the walk. Oh, uh, no problem. It makes me relieved to put my trust in your... Foxy? Vixen? They be trying to escape! Gah! I'm getting very tired of you. I suggest you go find your friends, old sport, before they do something to change my mind.